All right. Today, what we have here is a non-working Honda GX160. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take off the cylinder head from this Honda. We're gonna clean it up, adjust it. Able to use it before. Uh, see if we can use it again. Okay. That looks okay, a little dirty, and this, uh, looks okay so far, I think it's gonna work, let's take this off, take off the cylinder head. See what happens now when you're taking th things off it's okay to use like electric um, uh, tool or something but when you're putting things back on it's better to use everything tighten everything by hand so that you don't strip the screws or the threads basically and that's easy Off. And here's the all the, the push rods. We're not gonna use this anytime soon. Okay, here we go. Okay. So what we have here, the cylinder head, the gasket, we're not going to use this, this is a thick one, we're going to use a really thin one, metal one, this is the guides, we can remove this for now, and here's what I'm talking about, it, it's, uh, what's nice about this, it's got flat top um, valves versus like dished on predator. And this, this chamber is really small, so this is going to give us a really good compression. Okay, here's the uh, rocker arms. So next up, is gonna, we're going to take all this off, remove the springs, the valves, and we're going to wash this. This whole thing is really dirty, really messed up. So this is aluminum. The cylinder head is aluminum. You can wash this with water and like a wire brush and just scrub it down. I'm not worried about scrubbing on the surface here. I'm gonna, because I'm gonna repolish this, resurface this. Uh, I'm gonna actually shave it down a little bit to give it more compression, so it's gonna be okay. Okay, to remove this, basically unscrew this nut. You're gonna have to use another, like adjustable wrench in this area. And then number 10 millimeter to unscrew this, and that should be it. Again, okay, now once we remove the rocker arms, we're gonna remove the valve springs, and there's a little cap. This, is, this goes, this cap is always on the exhaust side, so basically, remove that, then lose it. Like this, and this type of uh, keeper, spring keeper, valve keeper, basically you have to push on it, push it down. Come on, and slide it over. Ah. Yes, like that, and this comes off. Here is the spring. Now these are factory springs, so they're like 12 pounds or something. Really light, 
real easy to squeeze. I'm gonna use 26 pound springs, so this is gonna, it's gonna give me higher RPM and uh, probably a, a new or more performance uh, camshaft. So we'll see what happens. So here we go, here is the intake, like that. Here's the valve. So here are the valves, and they're in pretty decent shape. I'm gonna clean them up, lap them, and I'm gonna reuse them because they have a flat top, flat surface, which is what I want to give me slightly more compression. And I'm gonna clean all this up. You can use like a wire brush to uh, clean all this stuff up. I'm gonna port and polish the intake and exhaust. Exhaust, I'm gonna polish it smooth. Intake, I'll leave it rough. And seat the valves. And that should be good to go. Performance. All right, here's an update, what I did next. Uh, I uh, basically poured and polished the intake and the exhaust port to give it a better air flow, air and fuel mixture. Um, I also polished the cylinder head the best I could with a wire reel to make it, you know, look a little better. To Now to port it out, to give it a good port, what you're gonna do is you need a tool, something like this, like a Dremel, you need a carbide bit. These are burr, carbide burrs. And what you're gonna do is really carefully get inside and you kinda just take off a little bit of material. Same thing, kinda just grind around you know open up that port and on the exhaust side what I did is I also used the sandpaper oops sandpaper to polish it so it's a little bit smooth so the exhaust side you want a smooth intake leave it rough see this uh, this is a little rough here so it's I didn't send paper I didn't use the same paper on the intake. And the reason is because you're gonna want that air and fuel to mix better as it travels and it's gonna give you a better performance, hopefully. You just get a a drill with a wire brush wheel like this and polish it off. That's it. This stuff you can buy on Amazon, it's like super cheap. Okay, next step is I'm going to clean up the valves. Uh, basically, it's easier if you put in a bench, a drill bench, and or you can use a, a hand drill like this. You just stick the uh, valve right inside, put some tape on the end so it doesn't get uh, scratched up or anything like that. So I did uh, use this to use a wire wheel to clean up a little bit, like that. Next, I'm gonna use 180 grit, or not, no, I'm gonna use 80 grit to sand down a little bit, then 180, and then uh, 400 grit uh, sandpaper. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna shave off a little bit of metal to basically, uh, to increase the airflow. Here is the comparison. This is the exhaust, this is the intake. This is what it looks like unpolished. Compared to polished with some weight reduction. So you can see a big difference. And this, like that. So it's a different, different look. Now I'm going to lap the valves. So I put on some uh, valve 
grinding compound on the edge right here like that and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of this assembly loop on the valve oops just like that just a little bit like that and this is going to go into the intake side like this okay then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a drill take a drill and basically put it on the valve and grind it uh, you know spin it one way then the other way move it up and down a little bit and do it for like a few minutes and then we'll check Okay, so here it is, finally seated, the valves were seated, nice and polished. So this is uh, what it should look like. See that? Oh, come on. I can't focus. Okay, here we go. See that line, a good line across? this little line right there that is what will that's the that's the line where it meets the the seat right here in the valve seat so that's what you want you want to grind it so it, you have a nice steady line one thing I noticed is that on the intake it's really really thin really small compared to oh, here's the intake so this is the intake really thin line exhaust much thicker much better I don't know we'll see if it makes any difference but that's the stock design that's how it's made okay so next thing is gonna be reassembling this head and putting it on the new engine the connecting rod Kaput. Hopefully that's the only part that's damaged and hopefully that's all I have to do. I'll just replace it. I'm going to rebuild this engine, replace the connecting rod and hopefully that's all that I'll have to do and this engine should be back to normal. If that doesn't work then uh, that's it. We're screwed, you know. Okay. Please watch my next video on how to rebuild Predator 212 with performance parts and minibike.